we're talking all about sea transportation. And one of the things about sea transportation is sometimes the transportation floats on top of the water and it's floating or it sinks to the bottom, which means it goes all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to take a closer look at sinking and floating by reading this awesome nonfiction book. Nonfiction means that a book is completely true and gives you facts about something. So what is this part of the book? It's the front cover. This is the back cover. This is the spine. Who writes the words? The author writes the words and then the illustrator draws the pictures. So before we begin reading, we need to learn some of the words that we're gonna encounter. So we're gonna flip to the glossary. All right, so the glossary is usually at the back of the book and it has a list of words and tells you what the words mean. So the word float means to rest on top of a liquid or to rise in the air. So floating is when something stays up high. So a gas is a substance that will spread to fill out any space that contains it. So like the air you breathe is a gas. A gas is free flowing, like. That's an example of a gas is my breath breathing. So next is a liquid. A liquid is a wet substance that you can pour. So for example, water is a liquid. Our next word is sink. It means to drop in a liquid or to fall down through the air. So like if you were to pick up a rock and drop it and the, the rock sinks through the air to go to the ground. The next word is solid. Something that is firm and neither a liquid nor a gas. So a solid is something that doesn't really change shape. So this is an example of a solid. So I can bend it. It's not moving. It's, it's solid. Start reading the book. Floating and sinking. An object floats when it rests on top of a liquid or when it rises in the air. Apples float in water. Hot air balloons float in the air. You can see that the apples are on top of the water, so they're floating. An object sinks when it drops down in a liquid or when it falls down through the air. Rocks sink in water. Rocks would also sink in air. These pebbles can't float in the water. They couldn't float in the air either. Solid objects are not the only things that float and sink. Liquids and gases do too. A bubble is a liquid with gas inside it. Bubbles float. Corn oil and syrup are both liquids. Corn oil floats in syrup. Do you see the corn oil floating on the surface of this syrup? Do you see how the color is clear for the corn oil? and dark for the syrup. The clear's on top, so the corn oil is floating. Milk and chocolate sauce are liquids. The sauce sinks in the milk. Helium is a gas. Air is made of many gases. Helium balloons float in the air. Gases such as propane and butane do not float in air. The helium inside these colorful balloons allows the balloons to float. Now we're gonna read about every day floating and sinking. People use things that float and sink every day. Anchors like this one sink to the sea floor. A hook sinks to catch a fish. People use hooks when they go fishing. People travel in a hot air balloon. How is floating and sinking important to you? So I hope you enjoyed reading this nonfiction book with me about floating and sinking. Now you can take what you learned from the book and do the experiment. The experiment is getting a bucket, filling it up with water, and finding items that you think will float or sink. Bye!